Go! And all Blue Alliance robots spring into action, getting two game pieces onto their high row. And Super Duper comes in and tries to place a third, but looks like they accidentally knock it out at the last minute. We've got two game pieces in the high row for the Red Alliance as well. And Galactic is able to get onto their charge station, docked and engaged. Super Duper coming in to place another cone for the Blue Alliance. Reckless Robotic looking to grab some cubes to help earn some more points for the Red Alliance. Super Duper coming in to place another cone for the Blue Alliance, getting three game pieces in a row, getting a link. And Galactic comes in to get another cube, joined by Super, or another cone, and then Super Duper gets another cube. Hatchet Robotics working on getting a cube for the Red Alliance. Working on placing it in that low row, trying to create a link. Super Duper and Galactic both coming in with another cube for the Blue Alliance. And they're both able to get their cones placed. Pike finishing off a link for the Red Alliance by placing a low cube. And Reckless Robotics coming in with a high cone in that co-op grid. Pike placing another cube for the Red Alliance as well, cycling those cu cubes and cones super quickly. Blue Alliance able to finish off their entire top row. Both teams getting at least three game pieces in their co-op grid, reducing the threshold for sustainability, making it easier for both teams to get that ranking point. Tribe Tech Robotics and Super Duper working together on the Blue Alliance to get balanced. Meanwhile, we've got Pike as well as Hatchet Robotics getting balanced for the Red Alliance. Alrighty, this looks like a pretty even end game. Let's see how these scores shake out. Alrighty, let's see these scores. And the winner is the Blue Alliance with a final score of 120 points, earning the Alliance three ranking points.